It's Una Una Poca Loca it's What's Una. up y'all? It's your girl Una Poca Loca I hope that everybody's having a blessed, beautiful day today It is so nice outside I think the weather's supposed to be like 72, 73 So I'm excited, I'm about to go to work But before I go to work I wanted to go buy Starbucks Because I want to try the new strawberry Funnel cake um, frappe frappuccino. I think it's frappuccino. Frappe, frappe, frappuccino. But anyway, um, and I also want to see if I can go get some Krispy Kreme glazed donuts, the strawberry kind. So I'll be back with that hopefully. Okay, you guys. So I got it. Look at what it looks like. See? Ooh, look at that. That looks delicious. So this is supposed to taste like funnel cake, strawberry funnel cake. I am excited to try it. See, it's topped with whip and some strawberry glaze. I know, it's gonna be good. Mm. First of all, it tastes like she put a little coffee in here. Let me give it another. Yeah, it definitely tastes like she put coffee. But it actually does taste like, to me, it actually does taste like the strawberry funnel cake. Mm. It does taste like a strawberry funnel cake. Alright. I definitely get that taste of a funnel cake type taste. That strawberry funnel cake taste. But I feel like it's messing it up a little bit because I can still taste coffee. Which I asked for no coffee. Right? Because I knew that was going to happen. So I think she did put coffee in it. Ooh. Yeah, it's like a strawberry. It's it's good. All right, and so then they have they have little crumbs of I think funnel cake on top. Mmm. It's also tasting like a cheesecake strawberry cheesecake just because the little crumbs on top sort of taste like graham crackers tastes really good to me on a scale from one to ten what i would rate this is probably like i would say you need to get it without the coffee but if you love coffee coffee just go ahead and get a coffee but look you see that so, on a scale of 1 to 10, what I would rate this is maybe like, I would say about an 8. I'm not like, it's not one of those drinks that I'm like, oh my god, y'all gotta go back and go get that drink. Like the Oreo Chiller from Krispy Kreme. It's not one of those, right? But, it is, um, it's definitely good. So, that's why I give it like an 8. Because it's good, it's just, I would prefer it without the coffee. But it is good. And it does taste like a um, strawberry funnel cake to me. Slash strawberry cheesecake. All right. Now I also have some crispy cream donuts. All right. And initially I said I was going to try to get the strawberry glazed. I am too late for the strawberry glazed. They no longer are selling the strawberry glazed. So what I got was... Which I don't need donuts this early in the morning, y'all. And probably need a DL. <laughs> I got the raspberry. I got the raspberry filled jelly donut. Ooh, that looks so good. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Then I also have the, because y'all know, if you don't already know, I'm an Oreo fanatic. Love Oreo. I got the Oreo donut. That's me all day anyway. Anyway, anyway, 
And then I'm also seeing that they have like the new island flavors. So I was gonna get the key lime pie um, island donut, but I have a key lime pie. I have an actual key lime pie at the house. So I'm like, nah, nah. So I got island time donut. And we're gonna start with this one first because I just wanna taste it. I'm probably gonna give the rest of it to my kids. So it has like a little, oh, what is this? It has a little palm tree on it. Oh, made out of sugar. It's a sugar palm tree. Mm. Very good. All right. Topped with a little bit of graham crackers right here to represent the sand. Oh, some cream. It look like whipped cream. Oh shoot. It's Una. Yep. Some frosting actually to represent the clouds. All right. Let's see what it tastes like. Next for the Oreo donut. I'm not eating all of these donuts, y'all. I'm not gonna eat the whole thing. Just because I'm giving my kids the rest of them. They've been good in school and homeschool lately, so I'm giving them the rest of them. All right, this is the Oreo cookie donut. Okay. And it's filled with cookies and cream mousse or filling. Ooh, this is delicious. The only thing that I would say that I don't like about this donut is that they, it's already like sweet. So then they put like an extra glaze of the chocolate glaze on top and I just don't like that. Like, just don't do that. Definitely is one of my favorite. I love that this is not that sweet, so that after I eat the donuts, it's not like a sweetness overload. It's actually good. It pairs well with the donuts. I got about 20 minutes. I gotta hurry up and go to work. Okay. And then last but not least is the raspberry filled donut. This is my husband's favorite donut. Too bad he's not here to enjoy it with me. Cause I'm just gonna have to eat it for him. <laughs> All right, let's taste this one. Ooh, 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 ooh. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. I love his donut. I think overall my favorite is definitely the Oreo. I'm just obsessed with Oreo, but I love this donut too. This is like second. The Island Time donut, that's more like a, or just original glazed with just some extra frosting on top. So good. All right, one more bite of this one. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, so make sure y'all go check this out. This is actually pretty good. Um, I definitely give it like a, like an eight. As for the new Krispy Kreme um, donuts, I think next time 
I will definitely give the other flavors a try. They had pina colada and they had key lime pie. And I probably should have gave those a try as opposed to this a try because this is just more so for like decoration. Really, yeah, I didn't say it's a pretty donut. It just tastes like the regular, the original place. Um, yeah. Let me take one more bite of this though because I'm starving. Mm -mm -mm. That was good. All right, y'all. I love y'all so much. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up on Instagram at una underscore polka underscore. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye.